Hi, greetings. Welcome to this video. Today we'll be doing page 95, which is descriptive geometry. For descriptive geometry, I'm sure you know there's two methods of finding the true length, which is the projection and the cone generator method. In this page, they are very specific on which method you must use. And they've stated that they want the cone generator method. So as you can see, the instructions are saying we must find the true length of strut AB and we must use the cone generator method which is also known as the construction method. So you get the true length and the true inclination. So we're going to get started with finding the true length of AB. As you can see, you are given the front view and the left view of a lending mechanism. So from what we are given here, this is our front view, this side, and then this side is our left view. So all you need to focus on is your lines because that is what we are finding the true length for. The first thing that you need to do, you're going to open the distance AB. So you have to use the cone generator method, which means you need to constantly be using your compass. So I'm putting my pin here at B. I mean at A, then I'm going to just draw an arc. Let me make sure that I to make sure that your line is correct. So it's there. So this is my distance. I'm striking an arc. I'm using a construction line. I'm just gonna draw it a bit dark so that you can see it but as you can see that our x y is a vertical plane that means i need to draw another vertical plane that is parallel to the x y so i need to draw another parallel x y from point a that will intersect with my point there or with my arc at the top like that. And then while I'm at it, because I need to find the length of AB, we also have A1 on the left view and we have B1. So where B1 is, I'm going to also draw vertical. I'm going to extend that point vertically using a construction. Once that is done, I then need to extend this point where it cuts or it intersects with the vertical plane that is parallel to my XY. I'm going to extend that point to the side where it intersects with my line from B1. That's where I'm going to get my B2. So that is going to now be my new B2. And then I'm now going to take the ruler, join A1, because I'm going to now also have same thing. I'm going to extend this using a construction line here. And then automatically I will also have A2 here. Now what you need to do, you join A2 with B2. So that is now the true length. Once the true length is there, all you need to do is take your ruler and so you have to take your ruler and measure B2 and A2. And I'm getting 109. So here by one, 
I'm going to write 109. But because they're using scale, one is to five. You're not done. That means you now need to multiply that 109. So what you need to then do, you have to write A2, B2 equals to 109 multiplied by 5, which gives you 5, 4, 5. You don't even need to write this 109 here. You can just go straight to writing A2, B2 is 109. So they, so you basically measure the length there, multiply it by scale, which is one is to five, and then you get your dimension there. And then for the true inclination, for the true inclination, which is this, the angle that is here, we need to get that angle. So we need to make sure that our line is extended a bit so i'm just going to extend the slide and then we need to get our inclination here so what i like to do is extend where i'll be placing my compass as well so i mean my protractor you have to place it where your line is there you start counting going in this direction then you should get see i have 25 26 degrees is here we're using this angle we are measuring this angle that i can just call beta if you want to call it something so that's the angle that we are measuring so you measure from this line to the line that you used for your true for your true length and you will get 26 you get 20 25 26 so i will say i will call that angle beta and i will say beta is 26 degrees remember angles do not change they remain the same so your angle is 26 degrees then for three the instructions are saying the true length of strut a c so now a c it's still the slide we have b here we have a b and we have a c here so that means my line i still need to extend it where c is because in the left view my c is here so i'm just going to take it across like that and then vertically again i'm going to extend c1 up c1 is going to go up i'm just extending that point and then now that means this is going to be my C Q. Remember, A2 has already been brought here. So now I have C2 that I will then join with my, I will then join with A2. So C2 will be joined with A2. Then it will then be measured. So where they intersect there, we want to try to be as accurate as possible. Draw your line, which is line A to C2. Then you want to measure it. And as you can see, I'm getting 155. So this one is 155 millimeters. So I'm going to write here C2B2, 
155 multiplied by 5. And that should give me 775. So that is the length. Remember the length for that, for this one, it was 109. So I'm just writing these lengths here. But remember, when you answer, you have to convert it to the given scale, which is 1 is to 5. And then now for my angle, I need to find the angle between the vertical plane and my line. So now this is the angle. The so that is the angle that I'm trying to find. Let me just try to make. So that is your angle that you need to try. So I will call this the first one that I put here, beta one. Then this one, we can just call it beta two. That is my angle. There. So what is this angle? You place it from here. Then you can see that it's sitting on 51. We have 50, then 1. Three. So it's going to be beta 2, 51 degrees. And then now the true length of D. The true length of D, you have to take your compass. I'm sure now you have gotten the hang of it. It's quite repetitive. You place it here at A, you open the distance. AD, the original AD. You draw an arc. In construction, I need to extend my vertical line. So once it is drawn, then I can now extend it all the way. You see where D is? Let us extend yes. vertically as well. So D1. Then this point is going to go there and get me D2. We want to get D2. So there is your D2 here. D2, you join it with A2. So you're now going to take your A2 to D2. Make sure that it's straight. And there it is. Then you want to make sure that you measure it properly. And it is giving me 151. So if it's 151, that means I need to now say A2 D2 equals to 151 multiplied by 5, which then gives us One five one multiplied by five, which then gives us seven five five. Seven five five. That's what you get. Lastly, you now need to get the angle between the vertical plane and your your D two. So this is our little angle that we are finding here. So the angle there, we will call it beta 3. 
and then you put it here, you get the distance between the vertical plane and your D2. Zoom in. So making sure that it's in line. Then it's sitting directly on eight degrees there. Then I go back to my answer, to where I'm answering, which is then beta three equals eight degrees. So that is how you do page 95. You get the true length and the true inclination using this view. So this front view, it's the one that has the original view. Then you can see that these ones are sort of copies. So that's this is the one that you use to get your inclination. I hope this video helped you. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.